1988 was Australia's bicentennial, and to celebrate this, Mac of Australia introduced the Superliner 2 limited edition. The trucks came in a unique decoration and had a luxury specification. Only 16 trucks were made, and each one was named after a famous Australian. One of the trucks was named after the explorer Ludwig Leichhardt. And that brings us to the scale model of the Max Superliner 2 Bicentennial Edition, and it's made by Drake Collectibles. It comes in an outer shipping carton, and we can see that this is the Ludwig Leichhardt Edition. So this promises to be a special model, so let's open it up and see what's inside. Out comes a Mac branded box, and it's decorated in the same style as the truck. And, as we can see, the box has a nice photo of the real truck. The box is also labelled to identify the limited edition inside, and there is Mac branding. Time to move on, open the box, and let's see what's inside. Out comes the usual pair of expanded polystyrene trays. But there are some other things to look at. There are a couple of small booklets, and we'll look at those in more detail shortly. And we can see there's another item in the tray. This is a scaled replica of the memento that was provided with the real truck. And it's a very nice inclusion with the model. We proceed on to get the model out and it's time for some intricate knife work to cut the tape. And then we can lift the lid. No, the model's not made of paper, that's just some soft protection. And by taking that off we get our first sight of the Mac and we can lift the model out. There are some other parts included in the box, and that's a bag containing some warning signs and some pins. There's also a plastic pointer tool. Let's turn now to the included booklets. And on the front of the first one we see eight of the limited editions that were produced. Inside we have the story of this particular limited edition, the Ludwig Leichhardt. And it gives an interesting perspective on who he was. On the back, the other eight limited editions are shown, together with reprints of some Mac information. The second booklet is also really nice, and it's presented in the form of an operator's handbook. It takes the unique approach of showing aspects of the model, and describing the specifications of those parts from the real truck. One of the features it shows is the ball bar being lowered, but just make a check it's not been pinned in the factory before trying to pull it down. Overall, this is a very nice way of showing the various parts of the model. The next part explains how Drake Collectibles produced the model. It includes photos, including some bloke I recognise from visits to the Nuremberg Toy Fair. So this is an excellent piece of work, and the various stages of producing the model are shown on the front. There's not much in the way of assembly, but one thing we can start with is tidying up the coiled lines. The tread plate behind the cap has got some pre-drilled holes, so they can be plugged in. Whilst we're plugging in, we can also add a pin to the towing hitch at the back. And there are some signs that can be added as stickers. But we're not running a trailer today, so we'll leave those off. So let's begin with a look underneath the superliner, and the detail level is very high with leaf springs and soft mud flaps at the front. The exhaust system is visible, and there are struts between the big tanks. A nice aspect of the model is that both the model number and the unique serial number in the production run are etched at the front. At the back, the suspension is fully modelled, and a very impressive part of the detailing is the ball bar at the front. Both it and the radiator grille behind have nice etched metal work, and there's a license plate too. The modelling of the Mac Bulldog logo is also finely done. The wheels look great, with only the tyres missing some branding in the sidewalls. The graphics on the side of the bonnet are excellent, and the replication of the limited edition badge in this scale is astonishing. The Ludwig Leichhardt name is legible. Moving to the air cleaners with their rain hats, and you can see they're highly detailed. That very high standard continues onto the door mirrors. And the detailing of the doors is also first rate. 
and there's excellent etching on the exhaust stacks. Another terrific tiny detail is the Mac name on the air horns. Up on top is the name of this limited edition, and down at the bottom the fuel tanks have got excellent gold coloured filler caps. And this is another excellent detail. The very high quality paintwork and detailing continues on the sleeper section of the cab. And the big Mac name at the back looks great. The ladder and grab rail are all modelled in metal. And there's excellent textured surfaces around the fifth wheel. Another extraordinary piece of detailing on this model is that there's even a graphic on the edge of the fifth wheel. Moving to the rear axles and the wheels are beautifully decorated. And the high standard continues to the back where there are nice soft mud flaps. We start back underneath the superliner and the rear axles spin freely. And at the front there is steering of the axle. It is notched so it will hold a pose that you set. And the maximum angle that you can achieve is very good. Also nicely engineered on the rear axles is the suspension. And we'll see more of that shortly. Out on the Cranes Etc Super Highway the Mac rolls along nicely. And as always, let's check out the maximum steering angle. With it set, it looks very convincing. And if you like to drive about on your desktop, it will trace out a nice curve. Here's a closer look at that rear suspension. And it performs very nicely indeed. Moving to the fifth wheel, and there's a nice working latch. And the other thing it offers is some longitudinal movement. Although it was quite stiff on the review model. With the ball bar not pinned in place you can fold it down fully. And that lets you open up the big bonnet. And it's well worthwhile doing that because the detailing of the engine is excellent. There are different components and even the struts are modelled. Hoses are also visible. With our servicing done we can close it all up. And then we can climb up into the cab. Using the supplied pointer the doors on both sides can be opened. And although it's hard to see there is some excellent detail inside. Another nice little detail is that you can bounce the air ride seats up and down. The Mac Bicentennial Superliner is certainly an historic truck, and Drake Collectibles have certainly done it justice with this model. Excellent functionality is combined with extraordinary detailing, making this the best truck model ever reviewed by Cranes Etc. No doubt about it, it is excellent.